All right, uh, here we go. Uh, the rubber match between Quantic Gaming and ESE. I see Box if you're just tuning in. Uh, Quantic Gaming uh, taking the second map in overtime and coming back and defeating ESE. And now uh, this is the third map. This is what it all comes down to. The, the winner of this will move on. The loser going home. Dust 2, my favorite map yeah. in every version. Yeah, I think this is a classic. map everyone's just exactly. It's a classic map. It is a map that everyone knows uh, that every team should be comfortable with. See if we can get an idea of what uh, ESC is going to be running on their T pistol round. Looks like they got one person in the pit. They got him set up early, which is good. Uh, they didn't really see any resistance from Quantic coming out long A, which is a little surprising, but. Uh, that would be because Quantic is doing a catwalk stack, it looks like. And they've already cleared B. So they have kind of narrowed this uh, this map down. The walls are closing in on ESC. They know that they're going to be uh, committing to an A take, it looks like. Some fire being exchanged here at long A. They're about to cross over. Smoke's going down and spawn. Neo picks up one crossing over. Quantic's pushed back to catwalk. Taz grabs another quick kill on Semphis. TCK <laughs> shooting him in the back, but doesn't really make any uh, make a dent. TCK takes down Pasha, and it is going to be a four v two here. It doesn't look like uh, Quantix will be able to pull this out. Day's last member alive on catwalk, and he is taken out. And then ESC celebrating, rightfully so. That was a uh, nicely executed T pistol. Yeah, even though Quantic knew exactly where ESC was, they still had a really good execution. That smoke and spawn, uh, being able to cross, and then uh, pushing Quantic back on a catwalk. And a, a really good entry kill there. And I felt like Quantic, they were in decent position. Uh, they just weren't able to get those picks when, they, uh, when the ESC was crossing to get the bomb down. And, uh, you know, when you know they're long A, you have to get at least one kill. Right. And they weren't able to do so. Well, we see Pasha here, the only member of ESC with an AK, um, which is wise. I wouldn't want everyone to be running around with an AK. It just opens yourself up to eco kills. Um, looks like three of them opted to go just with pistols. Another good move. Pistols are uh, pretty strong T-side. They're going to be working off the catwalk. Leaving that bomb down in mid, just in case they do get picked off in A. Neo's kind of clearing out the site. Spots one, maybe, behind the site box. He does see him. Falls back, just kind of uh, taking a uh, inventory situation there. So you spot him going out mid. Going to be wrapping B site. Pasha grabs a quick kill with that AK outside window, and uh, it's going to be an uncontested plant in B. So Quantic. Need to uh, regroup here and maybe try to force some uh, exit kills. But ESC is already out of the site and uh, out of harm's way. Yeah, they're kind of establishing an exit strategy here. All right. They are low, but I mean, even a kill on them is not really going to do too much. They've only got blocks and a uh, couple bad machine guns. So you can see Hiko taking out two, though. Nice. Might be able to grab another one. Picks up a 5-7 on the ground. Take, ooh, he does. Ooh, and they nice. do manage to kill every member, but yeah. uh, I don't know if Semphis is going to be able to find a uh, worthwhile gun here. It doesn't look like he is. There's an AK. Ooh. He just makes it. All right, and so that, I mean, wow. That makes it worth it. Yeah, that was a great eco round. Um, eliminating all five, picking up an AK. Right. And now uh, the good thing for Yissy was that they were saving, like you mentioned, right. a bunch so of they pistols. They do have AKs and op this round. We're going to see if Pasha can uh, scout that middle for them. They're slow crossing to B, so if it were me, I'd be taking that B. Yeah. Uh, we'll see if they actually do it or not. They are going to go ahead and walk through, but oh, if Quantic there. is stacking the site, I'm surprised of oh, two, two nicely placed nades to the back of the site, but they are all over. Another two kills by ESC, and they're just wiping the floor with them. Semphis, the last man alive, 15 health, going in middle. Maybe gonna try to get a, a position where he can, I guess he's, I think he does have the AK. I'm not sure. Yeah, he does. So he's gonna try to find a spot where he can 
safely keep this gun for the next round. A good gamble stack there by Quanic. <laughs> I uh, mean, there wasn't anything the more they could do. They had everyone there. Exactly. Uh, maybe if they had a couple grenades. Right. It's uh, a lot of money. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of money spent on a gamble. Uh, when you have four there, you know, that's that usually they should have picked up a couple more, to be honest. I right. think if Sempus could have uh, been there to back up his teammates, yeah, uh, he, he could have done a lot of damage there. So we will see a full buy. Yeah, our first full buy here. Um, Quantic using all their money. Yes, he still has some money in their uh, bankroll. Let's so see if we're gonna if we're gonna have an op battle here off the start. Oh, he doesn't even take a shot for them crossing. Two cross to B. Um, Frost does have an op. He's gonna be playing in the back of B. Nothing really going on towards that site right now. So ESC gonna kind of kind of be working their uh, their default here in middle. We can see Quantic playing uh, two long A, one in the site, and two B. So no one really uh, no one really out in that out in that middle. And this is a good spot. Is, is is in spawn, kind of watching cat and mid. Yeah, it's a good position for ESC. They've got position of cat. They still have 100 life. Uh, they've got most of their grenades still in available. And uh, this is, I like this play. They have position of cats and they know they're playing a long A. So they're sending three there uh, to try to isolate that one player. And here comes Hiko opening things up on Koop and Lord takes out Hiko. Neo's up in the site. He knows that they're on that rail. He's just stuck in about six tons of smoke. Oh, this is going to spawn drop. Neil still knows there's one site. There's a 2v3 here. Taz takes out another in the site. It's a 1v3. TCK flanking Cat. He knows Neil's on the rail. Bomb's not planted, but it's getting there. A good smoke here. Maybe he can uh, sneak his way through. Yeah, trying to flush ammo, though. Lord out. Oof. That was a good smoke. It was. It, it worked to how he wanted. And like you mentioned, just not enough bullets. Nope. So we see ESC, uh, I mean, that, that was the gun round there. And uh, not too bad. Yeah, and uh, that was just a great awareness of uh, what strategy to run after they figured out what set of Quantic was doing. Uh, the cat walk people initiated and then over-rotating uh, Quantic away from long A and then just isolating that one player, taking on three on one, taking position of hit, and then uh, just kind of squeezing them into the A-bomb site. So we see here, Quantic was stacking along A for that initial rush. Um, see if they can get, grab a quick eco kill, but no one came out. You see he's being patient. Neo's cleaning out that catwalk. No one is there, but uh, he is doing his job. He's being thorough. Doesn't want to get caught off guard by a uh, flash or a pistol. I'm going to see if he lets his, his opping teammate here clear the site. They're going to just walk it in a nice smoke there off the uh, skybox. Taz picks up Semphis. Days grabs one, though. In reply. Ooh, Neo taken down by TCK. So they are getting sandwiched here on Catwalk. Days takes out another with his pistol from the site. Kosh is not in the greatest spot here, but I mean, they're both low. This is not good for... Days grabs another one with this. Kubin's gonna get flanked from Cat. Ooh, he's low, falling back. No bomb. Yeah, 20 seconds one here. V3. Uh, I think he's gonna try to look to save, but it's gonna be so tough to do when Quantic knows he's there. All right. He just needs to get get behind those stairs. <laughs> there you go. That's where I'd be hiding. But they are probably gonna come from him. At least try to come for guns. See if he can hit a no-scope on Ooh. Oh, a daze oh, does get man, kind of that's so picks big. Up an op. Yeah. And we, we could, if we could check out their money. Um, yeah, ESC does look like I see two members there. They had uh, money to drop their teammates. And right. A, a huge round there by Quantic. Picking up that eco round, getting three, two weapons there, an op included. Uh, that's exactly what they needed. Looks like we've got some mid smokes going, but majority of the team heading towards B. 
Pasha getting set up there in the corner. He's only got an AK, so he's not going to be looking to peek in there um, against that offer. Or at least hopefully he's not going to, because that probably won't turn out too well for him. So you see mostly grouped up towards B right now with Neo, Neo being that lone person long. Oh, he does take out Hiko through long A doors. Oh, that's a big kill. That is. It, you see uh, Quantic quickly uh, reacting to that. Right, that's big. Quantic love to push through those long double doors. They'll do it with one, two, three people. Those just, they're very aggressive. Um, it usually pans out for them, or it was against Dynamic, but uh, Neo, Neo was ready for that. <laughs> However, he wasn't ready for the op in middle, which does pick him off. But it looks like they're getting ready to initiate here on uh, on B. TCK playing from the site, picks up one. Frost grabs another one in mid, and another. So it's down to a, a 1v3. No chance. No chance. Frost there, uh, he came up big. A multi-kill round there. Right. With yeah, the op that... Uh, they stole from yeah. you see the last round. Yeah, good point. Uh, you know, uh, utilizing that off from that eco round, and he's just so good at holding that middle area. And uh, if, if you're not going to smoke and flash him off, if he gets any glimpse of an enemy, he's going to hit that shot more than likely than not. Looks like we're going to see the, almost the same type of thing where Neo is uh, alone, lurking long or middle, and they're going to they're going to go up mid with this flash that he throws. See if we can grab Semphis here. He's watching him run out. Grabs one. Quanic manages to pick up three there. And it's all up to Taz. They're playing just too far back for that uh, for that middle rush, even with the flashes. They yeah. Got that, they got that distance on them. It's going to be tough for them to really uh, to really pick up any ecos out the middle. I think one improvement you could do on that um, is maybe smoking off that CT spawn. So when you come out middle, you only have to worry about the left side. Right. And then throwing a secondary flash um, towards the outside of B. So as soon as Neo throws that flash, and there should be already be a, he could have thrown that smoke to go, uh, block off CT spawn, and then a, a secondary flash um, to blind that left side. Uh, but you know that's a lot of money to <laughs> waste on an eco. Right. Yeah. Been very creative. Looks like ESC is going to have AKs again. They're going to be uh, kind of sticking with their default, uh, but looks like definitely working more towards middle. Um, they're being thorough and they're they're clearing of lower B and B, which is good. You got to uh, got to make sure that no one's going to be pushing on you unexpectedly. Quantic is ready for that catwalk approach, tossing out a few nades. They do have Frost just up in that B, but they are committing two people to B at the same time. So no one's really uh, contesting that middle at the moment. Kind of just letting them have it. And we see ESU going back to the strat that won them uh, the fir one of those first early gun rounds where they clear cat and then they send three long A. Right. So we can go though. Not having any of it. Long. Takes down one, takes down two. Kuban managed to trade. And there is one more long. This engagement here is going to be huge. Uh, whoever wins this battle at long A. And it does no. look like Semphis takes him out. Neo and his teammate are uh, not in a good spot. No. They got one down in the uh, pit. And, and Bomb should be on Catwalk. Oof. It should have been with the Catwalk members. This is going to be a difficult retake, but if there's anyone that can do it. Neo waiting for that pit peek. Good flash there from Quantic. Taz does be able to take him off the headshot, though. Frost is low. Low enough to make this... Uh, Winnable by kills, but not not definitely by time, and he is going to run away, which is definitely the smart thing to do there. Another close round. Yeah, ESC with the the correct strategy. Uh, they, they they need to have the bomb on catwalk though. It's just uh, you know if the bomb ever gets dropped on long, it's uh, it's such a long run, and then you have to recross back into the A bomb site. Yeah. Uh, so it's a pain. So ESC here does have a buy around. They are sending a lot into B tunnels, including the bomb. They're trying to draw some nades. 
Also, just just Taz actually with an AK, not a buy round. Forgot he saved out, but it's not gonna do that much good either way. Even last man standing does manage to get a headshot and a kill on the TCK, but Frost grabs it from the site. I didn't really put that AK to use. It's on a rush. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you think about that? Well, uh, just Frost hitting his shots. Um, I suppose so. Just kind of challenging him there, and uh, that's the fight that Frost wants. Uh, it's kind of a long, medium long range fight. And now Quantic Gaming strapping some rounds together. And uh, ESC, uh, the pressure applied back onto them. This is a T sided map. ESCA kind of, or ESC working up that catwalk. And Quantic just, just likes to give it, let him have it. They'll uh, catch him at the uh, whack a mole on Cat. Days though, pushing from behind, catching them in the back. Now they're kind of got him stuck on catwalk. Got <laughs> him stuck everywhere. And it looks like Cuban got the counterplay. Uh, gonna have an right. engagement at the spawn. Semtha's watching out that mid. Neo does pick him up through the door there almost. Cuban though getting another kill on Days. <laughs> Counterflank, <laughs> as you're saying. It's a 3v4 here for, for Quantic. I don't, I don't feel like they're in that bad of a, a position, though, even though they don't have numbers. Neo is low. Ooh, Taz takes out Hiko with a nice AK headshot on Catwalk. And that's just going to open up the site for him. They're going to roll in uncontested. They don't know that, but, but there's no one there to stop them. And this round definitely coming down to TCK. Uh, he's got more HP. Uh, he's yes. got Catwalk. He, if he can flank this one cow, nice. nice. Nice flash there. He's got this other opportunity. He's got that terrorist right at uh, oh, That's a save. For a save. He had that opportunity, though, uh, where he had him wide in the open. That smoke grenade. Right. Just turn right around. Exactly. You're not welcome here. It's probably the scariest thing you can see in this game. It, it, yeah, I think it is. I'd rather face Neo than a smoke. Frost with that, uh, that little ledge there, that little lip. In the B window, just peeking over this op. Terrorists win. TCK managed to save in those guns. And uh, Days there with a nice flank, he was able to clear that out. But then once he was eliminated, uh, Cuban with a nice counter flank there, uh, leaving that A bomb site kind of vulnerable. 5 5. So we're going to see ESC actually. Putting an op back into Posh's hands. Taking a few pot shots to that smoke. See maybe if he's gonna try to make something happen long A. Dazed, pushing, grabs Neo. Taz responds with a AK headshot. Quanta kinda getting uh, aggressive on that catwalk. ESC loves to go there. So nobody playing long at all. Frost upping that middle. He, he gets he gets one and he just falls back. It's a good thing to do. Play that advantage. And, uh, I like this by ESC. They're gonna ESC. They're gonna regroup, try to take this cat. There's two there though. Oh, bat oh almost TK's his uh, friend there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all up to Pasha. He's got a lot of time if he wants to save this. And also a lot of time to make that shot all day. But Tempest not having any of that. Yeah, good hole there by Quantic. Uh, that huge pick there on middle by Frost. Uh, taking that uh, four on three advantage. And those Catwalk members playing together. Utilizing each other, uh, fighting back and forth. And ESC on a save. And this is looking pretty good for Quantic. Uh, whoa, whoa. What's your magic number? On, My uh, magic CT number here? Yeah, what's your CT number? What are you comfortable uh, with? Uh, I'd say like eight. Eight would be good. Really? I think eight would be good. Yeah. <laughs> Two nades there. Gonna scare him off of uh, going out long. But yeah, I, I definitely think eight rounds. Uh, I mean, to me, this is a T-sided map. Yeah. To me, anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, so. Yeah, I would have said seven. You said seven. Yeah. 
I mean, you could even go with um, six. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely winnable. I think T side, T side, you can string those rounds together a lot easier than you can CT. You're not really in control CT side. Yeah, I mean, it's just so hard to rotate in between the sites. You see, Day is just uh, doing some work there from the site. The entire team really just holding down that cat, no problem. Not even a kill on the eco. So they will have some money, not a lot. They yeah. can definitely uh, AK Galil up. Yeah. Uh, I think ESC, um, they can kind of expect what setup Quantic's going to do because they've run the same strat every round. They've either uh, played on Catwalk or they play it at long. And they always have one B, one middle. Right. Every single round. So how do they respond here? Well, here we can see uh, Air Quantic playing three players at long off the bat. This is an interesting setup. Ooh, they are out. sneaks by. Right. So Pasha manages to get one, but he doesn't know the other one. Uh, he falls back anyway, which is good. Yeah. Because he did not know that there was another uh, CT pushed up there. We can see uh, Neo and company working up the catwalk. Only one holding down that A site. Two are still pushed long. The TCK manages to take him out from rail. So now again, they're getting themselves trapped here. He's going to be flanking from uh, long A, pushing around. Managed to take down one. Pico gets another. He knows he's up there. Lord takes him out. Now it's a 2v2. One member of Quantic in A site and one in B site. So they're kind of split up here. Frost does have an op, though. I mean, this is the best situation that, that he could be in. However, they are going out middle. Yeah, an ESC flank. Oh, Ooh, good cover there. You're watching. TCK is uh, not having any of that. Oh, Two quick clutch. kills. And uh, TCK gambling there, not leaving A open and right. going to CT spawn at the perfect time. Uh, if he wasn't there, obviously they would have walked up to B, caught Frost off guard. Yeah, that was good. Uh, so TCK making that round happen. And now uh, ESC on a pistol save. Another eco. Let's see if they can make something happen with this uh, eco round. To head towards the uh, B bomb site. Quantic was uh, triple nading. Looks like long. Hiko's pu push through. Hiko loves to push this long door. As soon as he clears it out for him, then they're just gonna collapse on him. There's TCK opening things up on Neo. Hiko gonna be flanking from Cat. Taking out a whole bunch. Just Pasha left here in the B site by himself. Maybe a knife kill coming in. <laughs> that would have been the time. <laughs> Extra 1500. Yeah. A little risky though, I guess. Well, I mean, hey, five on one. You know, he's <laughs> got a pistol. Just throw a bunch of splashes at him. The demoralizer. Yeah, exactly. Just throw your uh, rifles behind you. <laughs> That's true. Don't yeah. let them gun up. Yeah. Another gun around here for ESC. And I think ESC needs this one. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is the last round of the half. So they're going to make something happen. It's got to be right now. There's going to be a cat push here. Neo's not ready for it. Dazed. Going to take him out there on the uh, aggressive catwalk. Looks like a, a, some B smokes and flashes coming in. They do have two ready in B. Three of ESC are going to be slowly creeping through that. Backs turned. Frost missing it. Op shot there. Just grab another. And that's oh. it. Before nice you know it. Old. That was a good gamble stack by Quantic. Yeah, they had a lot of people there. And this is looking really scary for ESC. Uh, five rounds. Yeah. That is very, very scary. I mean, they should have picked up more. This is a T-sided map. Uh, but Quantic, they're just locking things down. Yeah. Never discount uh, ESC, but this is going to be an uphill battle for sure. Yeah. This is one of those maps where, um, you know, Quantic, they're going to have, they're going to be ready. Uh, right. T side, they're going to have their strats. Uh, so this pistol round is going to be absolutely crucial for ESC to win. If, if I was Quantic here, what kind of strat do you want? Do you want something default, aggressive somewhere? What would you... Is there any strat um, you like? 
Like on a gun round or a pistol round? Right now, yeah. Right now, uh, uh, I'd go B. Yeah, just keep it simple. Keep it simple. Keep I mean, it. if you're spotting the middle cross, as long as they don't smoke it, you can kind of see how many people are going to be there. And if, if you get the numbers on your side there, you know, you, you might have a five on two hit in the site. But see now, ESC is sending three across the middle. So now I would definitely would not want to go B. Mm -hmm. But they spotted that, so. But Quantic being very patient, just waiting for pushes. And they're going to work that long A, and the rest of them are just going to hold their spots. And ESC probably calling all clear B, even though there's one lurking out there. Pasha and sneaks then, past him. And that was so veteran of them just to walk by. Right. Uh, no Quantic, noise. Yeah, Quantic doesn't know that they cleared up B. Exactly. But we do have some action long A. Bombers long A. Two members of ESC taken out. So one top A, another one taken out by oh, Daze. Oh, goodness. Lord up cat with a kill on Hiko. One in spawn, one on cat. They are crossing long. This could be a good nade. Does a decent amount of damage, but no kills. Oh, Lord takes out another on they need catwalk to rail. Yeah, they just need to get the bomb down now. They don't need to engage in fights. Right. This is a risky fight here if you're getting shot in the back, but no one flanks it. There you go. And Lord still has 100 life. Right. Anything's possible. These guys are so low. A couple bullets each. They're scared. They look at them backing off. Yeah. This is not good. This is not what you want to no, fight. This is not. There you go. Another one takes down two. Oh, oh, oh what a headshot. Almost shot. had all oh. three. Oh, and that that was really scary. That for was Quantic. I mean, they were up uh, four on two at one point. Wow. That Quantic. One, that was, if there's any time to win a one v three, that would have been it. Yeah. That was and, very close. And Quantic getting away with one there. Yeah. That would have been devastating. Yeah, it definitely. Losing around like that. You know, Incredibly demoralizing. Absolutely. In the Especially a pistol round. At stake. And you know they were scared. All, you know, they had the sight. There was right. only one there, and they're right. all backing up for some reason. Exactly. You can tell the pressure's kind of getting to them. They managed to win the round. So we see Daze with the bomb on TCK, clearing out through B. They have the sight. It's uncontested. ESC choosing to stack A. They gambled. They gambled wrong. It happens. You see, just trying to look to get as many kills, possibly a gun if possible, but they're pinned in now. Uh, Quantic Gaming has one in Terra Spawn. Hiko taking out one, watching from that uh, T spawn. Yeah, things not looking too good for ESC. I mean, I know it's just pistol around, but. Most likely, we're probably going to see them save again next round. Uh, I don't. I, I don't wanna think they want to risk everything on a you know partial buy. That right. would be my guess. Maybe just you know, buy some pistols and some nades. Let's see what they buy here. Maybe a Mag Seven. <laughs> not that adventurous. Not when your uh, life is on the line. I guess. Yeah, it's not as good <laughs> when, when it's this kind of situation. Right. Uh, nades there. Yep. Kuban already hit down to 42 through that smoke in middle. Oh, Lord picks up another. He's got five kills so far. No one else on this team has managed to pick one up. They know. Oh, turns away from closet. Oh, Everyone's blind. Yes. Oh, TCK manages to kill. Kuban takes out TCK. Good oh, flash. Tash. Oh no! And now two v four. Now this is a. Dangerous situation to be in. And I don't know if I'd be peeking that. No, that was a horrible peek there by Cuban. Uh, Days with only nine life. Oh, it takes out. Now it's a two v two. And still plenty of time left on the clock. Has a Neo. So you're the T's. Where do you go here? Uh, T spawn along A. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That would have been hauling my butt there immediately, and then. Uh, you know, all you have to do is look towards the left side. You don't That's have to true. run into a site, look both ways. That's very true. But it looks like they're going to be attempting that there. Oh, oh Taz takes that one. Last guy. Oh, gosh. Taz gets both. Doesn't even need Neo. Yeah. I got this. <laughs> I got it, buddy. We're still in the tournament. <laughs> it's a big round. 
Yeah, that was huge. ESC, that's exactly the kind of round they needed to get back in this. Um, and and it, it was looking very good for Quantic. They brought it from a four on uh, two to do a two on two. So let's see uh, if Quantic has a response here. They can't let that phase them. They've got guns. Yeah. It's a new round. They've got a six round lead. Uh, obviously, you know, you can't let that influence how you play. Right. But uh, your confidence level is still up there. There's not as much pressure. So you can kind of see they're uh, just holding in the middle, waiting those smokes out. Looks like they're probably going to hit the catwalk here, but Neo's going to uh, slow him down again with that smoke. Just wasting that time on the clock. Bomb is heading back towards B, it looks like. Frost is carrying the bomb. This is probably going to be a middle B split. Maybe, maybe get a catwalk uh, drawing nades, spawn drop something. Yeah. But it's definitely going to be... Uh, Smoking off those CT spawn angles. And that's just, just a flooding on me. Strat. There's two in B. They're going to get squeezed upon. Oh, Kuman, though. Kuman and Taz are able to pick up one. Neo grabs another. Hiko oh, Taz. is the only member able to get a kill on that. Well executed strat. Just they needed one more flash over B. If they would have flashed over, it would have blinded the CTs and then their, uh, the terrorist uh, teammates coming from B halls. It would have been able to have a lot easier of an access. All right. Yeah, I don't know how you do a mid B much better than that. Besides uh, hitting those shots, that was uh you know they they had them right where they wanted them. Mm -hmm. So Quantic here looks like they're gonna be saving coming out long A. ESC is playing back, so this is gonna work in their favor. It's gonna be long range Neo from top of A. They don't really want any part of that. Looks like they're going to be falling back here towards middle. All four of them grouped up. They do make an escape out of long A, which is good because that is a death trap that you do not want to be stuck in. Push up Cat, see if he can spot a few mid, which he does. Playing defensive, no need to get uh, super aggressive on a bunch of people with pistols. Quantum is playing extremely passive. Yeah, they're just hoping for an over aggressive. Right, make a mistake. That's their I mean, only that's chance. Yeah, that is pretty much their only chance. I mean, kind of, there you go. Days grabs one up cat. Now there's gonna be a gun. Another one close cat. But it's Neo. He managed to take out Days. Taz takes out TCK. Pico is the last one standing. P250. Ooh, he does take out one on cat, but uh Neo again. And we do have a full buy by Quantic Gaming. And they'll have full rifles and armor. And uh, what kind of strategy you run here? I, th I I like the the mid B split. It was nice. Yeah, I like that execution. I felt like they were in good spots. I don't know if they're discouraged by how it turned out though. Yeah, right. I mean, if they knew that it was it was nice. Yeah. It just uh, it didn't pan out their way. I think maybe on you know nine out of ten times that they run that, they might have had that round. So it looks like they're gonna come out long. Neo's waiting for them to pit. Days takes up Neo. They do secure long A control. They are in the pit. One is game helper and one top A. Days headshot down to one health. Uh, I'd leave Days there. And uh, yeah, there you go. Leave him there. He's got one health. He can, he's going to be a thorn in their side. And uh, let the healthier members kind of take control of other parts of the map. Yeah, this is a, a very common strategy we've seen in Counter-Strike. Take position of long, force them to play passive in the A-bomb site, and they're so susceptible to these flashes. 
I have some smokes come up here. Three people up cat. They know one's in the site. Pasha. He's got some damage on him. Tempest and him battling it out. Frost finally takes him down. Ooh. Days is taken out long, so that that's cleared out for them. Has running down spawn. Manages to pick up Semphis. Bomb has been planted. Bomb's planted up in A. Hiko takes out both members of ESC. It was a nice strat. Yeah, that, that was a, a solid textbook long A take. Uh, they would get out of the doors, smoke off that left bomb site, isolate that pit player. Uh, flash him and then take the, the long A and then force the CTs to play passive and then you go back, wrap around a catwalk and squeeze that side in. And so Quantic Gaming, that's uh, ex excellent. Uh, that's pretty much the text textbook A take there. We see Pasha battling with Op here. Ooh, nice shot. Oh, that was They're going to keep pushing for him, but he's uh, he's not shying away. <laughs> However, grenades had a different uh, idea for him. that long A push. It's almost the same setup. They got one game helper, one top A. Lord takes out Dazed. Heavy smoke down. Semphis through the smoke, picking up <laughs> a headshot. Might have even been hitting that guy in the sight there. So now ESC is pretty much rotated over. They know they're long. It's pretty much committing. Neo managed to spot one through that smoke. Doesn't, doesn't get too much damage done on him. All three members of Quantic are going to be trying to cross over here. Ooh, they pick off Neo in the site, but Taz responds in kind. It is a 1v2. They know where he is. It's a good flash. Ooh, it takes out one of the last guys, the bomb planter. Ed Goose. Ooh. Oh! Wow, clutch. so clutch. Clutch round. Yeah, that was a must win there. Oh, yeah. an ESC getting that huge round there. Yeah, they had all three coming up long there. I mean, they didn't really spread out their players at all. ESC could just concentrate on that area. Um, it was risky. Yeah, I mean, it almost paid off for them in the end there, but... Uh, yeah, ESC making the right choice. Yeah, setting ESC. all three there. Just kind of taking nice a risk. rifle work. Like Quantic here, uh, do have AKs. Might be seeing their fast B. Slow it down a little bit. They were really liking to hit B a lot against uh, Dynamic to start things off. Yeah. Days with a pick. He's gonna go up Cat. He's another member. He drops Spawn. Days just kind of kind of working that A fake for him. Once these smokes dissipate B, we might see a uh, another pinch on mid B. Because Days has managed to keep two members of ESC in A. Really selling that. Here, here we see the mid B smoke. Yeah, and it's going to come down to this B player. On oh, a spot given away. See if he has any yeah, counter flashes. In sight. Hiko coming in. Trying to get up on that box. TCK managed to take out Taz in the doors, and Daze takes out Kuban, who's in the back of the site. It's down to Neo and Lord. Neo running in. Ooh. Daze takes him out. Now it's just down to Lord. Oh, he managed to get two AK headshots on people on platform. Oh, and that side play person, he's really low. He needs to be careful here. safe right now from that side person. If he can just peek this closet and get a kill. Oh no! Oh, Hiko takes him out. Mm -hmm. He had the right idea. He did. Uh, he should have just dedicated himself to closet because he knew that big box was covering his left side. And uh, it looked like he was going to have a really good chance to get that pick. Yeah, he had two really nice AK headshots on the uh, platform holders there. He put in some work that round. Yeah. Almost had it. If he would just scraped out another step or two, he would have had a chance. Uh, but Quantic here picking it up. We're going to see ESC looks like they're going to be stacking A with pistols. So Quantic, Quantic knows that they're probably saving. They're going to be playing extremely passive. Yeah. They're not going to take any chances this round. They're going to use a clock. If they can get this. They're guaranteed to tie. 
Dave's working that middle like he likes to do. ESC is uh just waiting it out. Yes. ESC is uh expecting this catwalk here. Throwing some nades. Their guns are just gonna be too strong for them most likely. Yeah, it does have a good position on Ooh, does manage to headshot him on elbow. TCK takes out Kuban who's hiding goose. Ooh, Lord, nice headshot. P2000. All down to Taz. Not a great eco round for them, but they did manage to pick up one kill. There it is. That up. Yeah, <laughs> there's they, that tie. They, they secure tie. There's six rounds for Quanu to play with. They only need one more out of six to knock out ESC, uh, which would be an upset in my opinion. Um, not seed wise, but right. uh, I felt like uh, ESC coming in, you know, they won the first map uh, and then uh, barely losing in the second overtime. But Quantic here uh, is showing why they are the number one seed from America. And this would be an absolutely huge uh, win here this round. Oh, they're gonna get it. they're gonna get aggressive here. Oh, oh. Kuban takes out Hiko. Neo pushing in lower manages to grab one. It's a three v three right now. Day's already in B. Bomb coming B. They're gonna get a plant down. Frost lurking in the mid, and he just took a shot, so he gave his position away. They do have one guy CT. I mean, they know they're in B now, but it's not gonna be an easy retake. Ooh, Days takes out Pasha. That's a big kill there. They know it's a two-on-two two here in B, because the one of the players in the middle. Oh, Days grabs another one. It's all up to Neo. Grabs one. Oh. Ooh, he's, no. Oh, no. Ah. He, oh. oh Just a second too late on that grenade. And Quantic Gaming. That was almost a clutch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I kind of saw it yeah, happening. I, I, yeah, I was envisioning I felt it, it but uh, that's too bad. Yeah, and Quantic Gaming. Uh, Love to see another day. They do. Another match. Yeah, and knocks out ESC. That's uh, huge. Uh, yeah, congratulations. That was, uh, keeping uh, well America fought. still in the tournament. Yeah. Um, just fantastic play. Just fighting back. They were down on that second map. They forced in overtime. Yeah. Was, um, uh, you know, they were really working that dust, too. That was, was impressive. That was. They played really well. That's such a strong uh, CT side they had, picking up 10. Um, but, yeah, it's been a long day of matches. Um, Quantic Gaming versus Dynamic, we saw five overtimes there going into three maps. Uh, so Quantic Gaming definitely had their share of Counter-Strike right. today. They put in their time. Yeah, and uh, I'm sure they're going to be glad to get their rest. And uh, that's going to be today's matches. Uh, Kyle, K Sharp Miller, it was, it was fun casting oh, with you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm um, Ron Rambo Kim. Uh, we're going to have the uh, winner's interview here uh, with Quantic Gaming. And um, we'll be right back after that.